So we've looked at this plate before, and we saw that what Pythagoras said about right triangles is true here, that the square built on the legs, the sum of that, those squares equals the square built on the hypotenuse. But this is Euclid's plate because Euclid found something else out about right triangles. And what Euclid said was that if you took a line from the vertex of the right triangle and cut through the hypotenuse and cut through the square built on the hypotenuse, you would end up with two rectangles. And Euclid said that the smaller of these two rectangles was equal, equivalent to the square built on the smaller leg, and the larger of these rectangles was equivalent to the square built on the larger leg. So let's see if we can prove this to be true. So we're going to use these parallelograms to help us with this. Now, what do we know about uh, parallelograms and when they are equivalent to rectangles? Do you remember what we've done with our equivalence work with that? We know that a parallelogram and a rectangle are equivalent when they have the same base and the same height. Then they are equivalent. That's going to help us to remember that knowledge as we work through Euclid's plate here. Okay, so let's do some comparisons here then and just see. I'm going to take out this yellow square and I'm just going to compare its base to the base of a parallelogram here. Those are equivalent, right? They're the same. They have the same base. Okay, now let's check their height. So I can see the height of my parallelogram right here, and sure enough, the height of this yellow square is the same. So what can we say about the parallelogram and the yellow square? They're equivalent. Now, let's check and see what we can find out about the larger rectangle and this parallelogram. So, let's take a look. Their bases are the same. And let's just check their heights. And their height is the same. So what can we say about this parallelogram and this rectangle? They are equivalent. So we have seen that the yellow parallelogram is equivalent to the yellow square and the yellow parallelogram is equivalent to this larger rectangle. So that means that this square is equivalent to this rectangle. Now let's take a look at this blue square and the blue parallelogram. So first, let's check the base and I can see the base of this parallelogram and the base of the square are e are the same, they have the same base. Let's check their height. The height is also the same. So what can we say about the blue parallelogram and the blue square? They are equivalent. Well now, let's take a look at this smaller rectangle and the parallel, blue parallelogram. First, I can see that their bases are the same. Okay, let's check the height.
and look at that, their heights are the same. So that means that this parallelogram and this small rectangle are equivalent. And the further that means that the blue square and the red, the small red rectangle are equivalent because they both are equivalent to that blue parallelogram. So Euclid was right. If you build squares off of the legs of a right triangle and a square off of the hypotenuse and then cut a line through from the vertex of the right angle across the uh, square off the hypotenuse, then the smaller rectangle created equals the smaller square and the larger rectangle equals the larger square. Do you want to do this exploration? Go ahead and do that manipulation yourself.